raining caramel. Hola, amigas y amigos. Today I'm making pudim molotov, or pudim de chocolates, or in English, Brian Flan. And to keep my camisa clean, I'm wearing an apron by Rooster Camisa. Our first step is to make a liquid caramel. This is a water caramel. So our first step is to combine some water and sugar. And I'm going to cook it to a deep caramel and then add some boiling water. So I poured my caramel into the pan and because it's still hot, I'm using a spatula to spread it all around the sides, up the center. Now if your caramel has cooled, you can actually do this with your hands. Sorry if you couldn't hear me over the mixer. Now for the noisy part, the meringue. So in here I have an egg white, some cream of tartar, which isn't traditional, but in the pastry world, I know that this will create a very stable meringue for our Molotov. So I'm gonna slowly start beating, and then once it's at medium to firm peaks, I'm gonna start eat, adding sugar tablespoon by tablespoonful. This whole pro process can take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or more, but what you want is sugar that's dissolved, meaning when I touch the meringue, you can't feel it. Can you feel it? I feel nothing. Next is optional, but I prefer it. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of our caramel. Ready? Next step, we're going to put the meringue into our prepared pan. Here we go. Now for the noisy part, so cover your ears. And messy. Thank goodness I have my rooster camisa apron. My pudding is in a roasting pan. And the next step is to create a banyu maria, which is a ban marie. I'm pouring boiling hot water in around the pudding. Twelve minutes, and I'm gonna shut the oven off, let it hang out, take it out, let it cool. Is this meringue? That's lovely. It's still there. Now that the pudim is cooled, I'm going to heat the base just so that the caramel loosens a bit. We don't want it to stick to the bottom. Portuguese pottery, of course. So there's one bit of meringue that's stuck in the pan. But look at that, that is beautiful tall and in one piece. I'm gonna finish my Molotov with just some sliced almonds. You can also cover it with Dostovsh, which are an egg yolk cream, more caramel, or just grab a fork. Fork is ready. It's like eating in Portuguese cloud. <laughs> 